This is HighIntensityBusiness.com with Lawrence Neal, helping you achieve your health and fitness goals. Become a great personal trainer and build your high-intensity strength training business. This episode is brought to you by the Resistance Exercise Conference. Would you like to learn from the top strength training professionals and researchers, network and connect with other exercise professionals from all over the world, and get inspired, rejuvenated, and focused on your strength training business? I certainly do, and that is why this will be my third appearance at REC. It's my favorite weekend of the year, and I'm so excited to attend again in March 2020. So why else should you attend REC? Well, firstly, there will be keynote presentations from exercise icons like Dr. Bente Klarlan Peterson, Stuart Phillips, PhD, James Fisher, PhD, and Luke Carlson. As a studio owner, you will learn business tactics and strategies on how to grow your business from the CEO of Discover Strength, the highest revenue producing strength training company in the nation. Moreover, you will grow your network by connecting with other strength training business owners from around the world. As a personal trainer, REC will provide you with tangible training techniques to take back to your clients to implement right away for better results. And REC is approved by ACSM, NASM, ACE, and NSCA for continuing education credits. The conference will be held on the 27th and 28th of March 2020 at the gorgeous Graduate Hotel in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Join me and register now over at resistanceexerciseconference.com. If you want to take your strength training business to the next level and build a world-class personal training and business network, you must attend. Please register now over at resistanceexerciseconference.com. This episode is brought to you by ARX, the most innovative, efficient, and effective all-in-one exercise machines I have ever seen. I was really impressed with my ARX workout. The intensity and adaptive resistance was unlike anything I've ever experienced. I love how the machine enables you to increase the negative load to fatigue target muscles more quickly, and I love how the workouts are effortlessly quantified. The software tracks maximum force output, rate of work, total amount of work done, and more in front of you on screen, allowing you to compete with your previous performance to give you and your clients real-time motivation. The ARX uses a computer-controlled motor to give you the exact amount of resistance your clients need 100% of the time. This means that the resistance can never become dangerous, is intuitive and simple to use, and can provide you with all of the results you and your clients are looking for in a fraction of the time. ARX is highly effective and efficient in delivering all of the benefits of exercise, including increased strength, muscle mass, cardiovascular conditioning, bone mineral density, and injury recovery. As well as being utilized by many high-intensity trainers to deliver highly effective and efficient workouts to their clients, ARX comes highly recommended by world-class trainers and brands, including Bulletproof, Tony Robbins, and Ben Greenfield Fitness. To find out more about ARX and get $500 off install when you place an order, please go to arxfit.com and mention HIB, that's High Intensity Business, in the How Did You Hear About Us field. So again, to get $500 off install when you place an order, head on over to arxfit.com and enter HIB in the How Did You Hear About Us field. Lawrence Snell here and welcome back to highintensitybusiness.com. This is episode 247. Today's guest is yours truly and this is how to start a high intensity training business part two. Uh, It's really just to give you an update on what's happening in my life with regard to uh, the studio that I'm looking to help open soon Um, and was really prompted uh, by Mike Wolf who I bumped into at the Resistance Exercise Conference in 2019. I was strolling around uh, the uh, early morning workout machine setup. I was just walking around the machines, trying them out, trying out some of the pendulum machines. And uh, me and Mike bumped into each other. And Mike said, oh, when are you going to do a follow-up to uh, how to start a high-intensity training business? You know, it'd be fascinating to see how you get on implementing what you've learned and starting a business. And uh, that was 
kind of validation to me that this is interesting to you guys. And so I figured I would keep doing it and uh, start a or continue a series of podcasts documenting the journey. Uh, I may even eventually start doing some kind of YouTube channel, um, depending on if I have the time and resources to do that, uh, which is unlikely in the short to medium term, everything that's going on. Um, But I'll do my absolute best. So here we go. So we're going to just give you a, an update on what's happening with regards to the business um, and kind of share with you some of the things I'm learning, what I'm executing, and um, some of the stuff that might be available to you going forward. Um, so firstly, there was a total change of plan. So if I remember rightly, and I did not listen to part one in advance of recording this, so I may have got this slightly wrong. The initial plan was to become certified via Hit Uni. Um, become a personal trainer, train people out of people's homes, out of a big box facility, um, and then eventually transition to a studio. Now, I that has completely changed. I've had enough on my plate with regard to high intensity business, the blog, the podcast, the membership, um, that I have not been doing that. And uh, instead, I'm going to be jumping straight to opening a studio. And so a lot of the extra work I've been doing has been uh, in terms of setting up and preparing the opening of that new studio. Um, So just to add to that, I originally was planning on opening a studio with um, a specific person in Galway who I've known for a while, who I was connected with through Dr. Doug McGuff uh, a while back now, almost probably two years ago. And... uh, you know, we were going to work together and we, he had this vision um, that was pretty grand where the high intensity training studio, whilst important, was a small component in a bigger picture, um, which is it's quite a complex vision, which I'm not going to go into now. Um, but what that meant is that the project took a while to really get going. Um, And uh, for good reason. I mean, you know, Frank had to really think through uh, these other components uh, before we were actually able to open a studio. Uh, And so that's why it was getting delayed. And that's why I was, you know, I was updating you guys through the podcast saying, oh yeah, you know, it'll be live in six months or 12 months and then six or 12 months would go by nothing would have happened. Um, And so in that time, I uh, became very good friends with uh, a chap called Sean who came with me to uh, the Resistance Exercise Conference in 2019. And so many of you listening to this would have met him. And, uh, you know, he he developed an enormous passion for um, high intensity training and for uh, things like the carnivore diet. And so we we developed a friendship and we meet up regularly for a carnivore style lunch Um you know, once a week to talk about all things health and fitness. And as his passion grew, it became very natural to talk about starting a business in this. Um, And he's very entrepreneurial anyway. And, you know, I always kind of caveated the conversation with, I would love to work with you and help you, but already got other commitments as I've already outlined in this podcast. Um, However, over time, it became clear to me that the vision that Sean had was closer to my own. He was much more passionate about just doing the strength training and um, not necessarily uh, doing all of the other components which Frank wanted to do. Um, And so in the end, I decided to commit and go into business with Sean. Now, it's important for me to say that I'm still very supportive of what Frank's doing. And in fact, um, we're still likely to collaborate in a different way. And there may even be synergy between the three of us. There's no high intensity training presence in Galway, probably not even in Ireland, really, uh, apart from the chaps in Dublin who I've had on the podcast, uh, Simon Costello and um, Nigel Leon, uh, or Nigel Lyon. Sorry, Nigel, if I've pronounced that incorrectly. And so really, I think there's just enormous opportunity to work together. I really don't see this as as competition at all. Um, uh, And it's complex, but there, um, there may be some ways that we can work together. And we are due to all meet and discuss that soon. So just wanted to be clear that, you know, I haven't decided to to start this business with Sean um, and commit more resources there versus moving forward with, with Frank. It's not... It's not because, you know, Frank and I fell out or anything like that. It was just a difference of vision. That's all. Um, 
although as I've just stated, I'll still be working with Frank in another capacity. Uh, so just wanting that to be clear first and foremost. Um, and then moving forward, uh, so I, I've completed the high intensity training certification, the personal trainer certification on uh, Hit Uni, which I'm pleased to say only took me six years. And the reason it took me so long is because I've been so focused on the podcast and the membership. Um, I just want to make a point that I think uh, might be valuable to other people that have completed the high intensity training hit uni certifications. And, and that's, that is pretty dense. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot to take in, you know, you learn all this stuff, you do all these quizzes, you pass the exam, and then you probably forget a lot of what you've learned. Um, after a short amount of time, at least in my case. Uh, and I don't, I have okay recall, but not anywhere near as good as a lot of people I know. And so I think that's okay. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, you do get a lifetime access to the course. And so um, you can always go back and review and, and almost learn as you go. Um, I think, you know, it's very uncomfortable when you're first becoming a personal trainer and working with people because, you're going to come across people with challenges, injuries, special conditions, which you might not know how to address in the moment. And you might have to do your best, uh, be professional, defer when necessary, be honest, um, and go away and review the materials at a later date and improve yourself in that way. And so I'm very happy to do that. I know I'm going to have blind spots. I know there's things I don't, I'm not going to know, um, as many of you have experienced. And so I'm comfortable with that. And I'm excited to just start learning on the job. I think you can't underestimate uh, just how much you learn by doing. Uh, and so looking forward to getting out there and training people. Uh, in terms of where we're up to, in terms of where me and Sean are up to with the studio, we're, we're moving pretty aggressively and, and that's been so exciting and so much fun. Um, you know, we found a premise uh, in Galway, which is around 1,700 square feet. It's from, well, in my view, it's massive. I mean, I know there are um, studios out there and many in, in America uh, that are just gigantic and, and would dwarf that. But to me, standing in this space, it feels huge. Um, so that's really exciting because it means that we can really aim for a, a high level of revenue. You know, I, I think in the long term, you know, I've had lots of conversations with Luke about how if you've got that amount of space that, and in a good area, there's no reason why you can't do $1.5, $2 million in a space like that if you get everything right in terms of the systems and the branding and all of that. Um, so I think, you know, there's an enormous amount of potential and I'm excited to, to pursue that. It's got a great location or it's in a great location. It's in a popular business park, which is pretty massive. And there's a number of uh, medical tech businesses in the area, uh, which have a, a you know large number of employees in the thousands. Um, and so I think it's going to be great in terms of focusing on the busy professional target market, because there's going to be a lot of people who are kind of middle management or and or higher income who are going to be... Um, well-placed to uh, and probably interested in this kind of service, which is going to be positioned at a premium level um, and really kind of sell on the efficiency aspect of the exercise and of the service. And so I, I've got a great deal of confidence about that. But until we actually get started and start testing um, and focusing on that particular target market and see what works and what doesn't, uh, I can't really say a great deal, uh, but I'll be reporting back on the results there. In terms of equipment, we have got very lucky and we're in the process of, um, well, by the time this is published, this should all be done. Uh, but we are in the process of acquiring a big five used MedEx uh, arrangement and a hammer strength leg extension from Craig Hubert, whose name will be probably familiar to many of you. And he's been on the podcast before. He's become a really good friend of mine. Um, and I'm very thankful to him by being just so enormously helpful through this whole process. And obviously, I'm very grateful that this opportunity um, came about. Uh, you know, I'm I'm very excited because, uh, you know, one thing that might be different for me versus a lot of you is, you know, I live in Galway where I really don't have access to any medics or Nautilus equipment. Um, and so I only really get to work on this stuff when I come to uh, REC for the annual conference or when I go back to the UK um, where there's some friends of mine have got studios uh, 
out there with uh, you know Menex and Nautilus kit. Um, prior to that, I was reliant on Kiza training in North London, uh, where I fell in love with Menex for the first time. And so it's very exciting for me to finally get access to that kit again and start training on it. Uh, so that's awesome. And what we're probably going to do um, is probably also acquire a bench and some power block dumbbells to give us greater a greater number of exercises that we can perform with clients. And obviously with, with body weight, manual resistance, a bench and power block dumbbells, you've potentially got hundreds, if not thousands of additional exercises to complement what we can do on the machine. So that gives us a real, uh, the ability to provide a great deal of variety for clients and um, address a number of uh, goals and challenges with their muscular system. So I think that's where we're going to start. Um, something I haven't really discussed with Sean yet, but something I've been thinking about lately is how we will probably get to that higher revenue mark. And I think one of the key ways to get there is to just acquire the right pieces over time. I think that will probably include a MedX lumbar extension machine, um, a leg curl, uh, and probably a bunch of other pieces I can't think of the top of my head. A gluteator um, is probably going to be a good selling point. I've heard it's been quite powerful for uh, high-intensity training businesses in terms of differentiating the business. Um, and so those are pieces that I've got kind of top of mind that I think we'll acquire over time um, as we generate more cash flow. Um, some considerations and things I've been working on related to this studio are just trying to understand the local laws for personal training business. You know, obviously this applies differently for every country and every state. Um, so what I did to get a better understanding is I looked at the checklist that's provided in Hit Uni by Simon and his team, and which kind of helped me on, you know, what do I need to make sure I consider before we open? Um, and obviously there's a whole list of things, but one of the things that's kind of, um, you know, important for everyone is getting insurance and also making sure you're, you have first aid, a first aid certification. Um, and I was able to kind of verify that by uh, building a relationship up with a local business, fitness business owner who's not a high intensity business owner. Uh, he does various training methods. Um, and he's just been very helpful in terms of telling me what I need or what we need um, to uh, to account for and to prepare before we open. So insurance, first aid, among other things that I'll probably come on to. Um, so that's a useful tip is before you open, just make sure that you've spoken with someone, ideally someone in the area who's already done this. It doesn't have to be a hit trainer. It can be any kind of personal trainer and they will know the boxes that you need to tick. This episode is brought to you by our sponsor, ARX. Are you looking to create a cutting edge, high intensity training facility? Are you confused on what equipment to use or how to separate yourself from the masses? Well, then ARX Fit might be the answer you're looking for. I asked Mike Palano from ARX a few questions about how ARX machines are challenging the status quo of the exercise industry around the globe. Mike, if you could, Give the listeners a quick summary of why ARX is so different from the traditional machines or tools they're used to seeing in most exercise facilities. ARX is totally different than anything you've seen before. This isn't just another weight stack machine. We've looked at the last 40 years of exercise technology and used that knowledge to create something entirely new. ARX uses a new form of resistance, a motor, and we pair that motor with computer software so that we can maximize the safety, effectiveness, and efficiency of your workouts. So you may be asking, okay, but how does ARX compare to weights? Traditional machines you see in gyms today are based on lifting metal weights and battling gravity. What people don't realize is that when you're forced to lift a static weight like this, one that doesn't adapt or change while you use it, you're underloading yourself rep after rep. And this unnecessarily limits your ability to make improvements. With ARX, we've taken a totally different approach. We removed weights and gravity from the equation altogether. Instead, ARX combines our patented motorized resistance with our custom computer software to provide you with the world's safest, most effective, and most quantified form of resistance training ever. When you train with ARX, you are training to your perfect level of resistance, both positively and negatively 100% of the time. No more guessing what weight to use, ARX does all of that for you, instantly and automatically. We'll also track and measure every second of every rep, so you can quantify all of your workouts to find out if you're improving and by exactly how much. 
Whether your goals are bigger muscles, increased strength, stronger bones, or just to look good in a bathing suit, ARX can help you achieve all of these and more, but do so in a fraction of the time it would take compared to traditional equipment. If you're looking for the most efficient, most effective, and most quantified piece of exercise equipment on the market today, then look no further than ARX. Thanks, Mike. That all sounds really impressive. If you'd like to learn more about ARX, visit arxfit.com and mention that you heard about ARX on the High Intensity Business Podcast to receive an exclusive deal of $500 of shipping and installation of your ARX machines. Uh, in terms of other things we've been working on, um, obviously it's important to get a website live in uh, uh, for when we launch in uh, probably January 2020 is kind of what we're going for at the moment. This podcast will actually be out after that, so we'll see. <laughs> but that's what we're aiming for. Um, very excited about getting a you know a, a new website design for this. Um, you know, I, I'm part of a a different membership where I've learned how to build an online business and build this you know this uh, podcast and blog and the membership, uh, and that's through James Shramko's Super Fast Business membership. And through there, I've um, networked with some really interesting and really capable people and uh, who, who've been really recommended to me for various partnerships and services. So thanks to them, it's, you know, I've been able to really grow my business and, and partner with them to help do that. You know, things like, you know, integrating email management systems into my online business is really thanks to, um, to some of the people I've partnered with. So I met a, a person through Superfast Business called Greg Merrilise. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Sorry if I'm not Greg. Uh, he was responsible for the rebrand for um, High Intensity Business, which was formerly Corporate Warrior. So when you go to the site, when you see the logo, the header, um, you know the, the the logo where it's just the H for high intensity business, or whether you see the smaller high intensity business logo, all of that, all of the style guide, everything, the colors, the rules were all created by Greg and his team over at Studio One Design. Uh, and I was so impressed. Um, you know, it was a very affordable service, very reliable, great cust- great communication all the way through. Um, and I was really pleased with how it all came out. And there's a lot more I want to do with them um, also on the high intensity business website going forward in terms of a complete redevelopment, hopefully in 2020. Um, so it made sense for me to approach Greg with regard to helping us with the website for the actual studio. Um, and I will be very closely following the uh, outlines and the guidance provided by uh, Luke and also his um, uh, Discover Strengths VP of Sales and Marketing, Hannah Stahl von Holstein, who has been very helpful. Uh, I believe she's been on the podcast mainly talking about the Resistance Exercise Conference, but she's also in the membership, HIP Business membership, and she's been helpful in creating content to show you how to optimize your website uh, in a high-intensity training business context. And so I'm going to be following her advice very closely when we come to do the design. Um, you know, For example, just to give you a few highlights, making sure we've got the call to action for the free introductory workout in the top right-hand corner, which seems to be optimal from a conversion standpoint making sure we're capturing emails effectively for prospects that we can then remarket to, um, making sure that it's got a professional looking design, which both appeals to new clients um, and our target market, as well as uh, potential trainers. So when we do come to hire people in the future, we want the website to really communicate a strong professional um, image to them so that they're more inclined to to obviously want to, to work for the brand. Um, I will not reveal the name of the business yet um, just because I simply am not sure whether that would be uh, a great idea at this time. But um, as soon as you know we have confirmed that and moved forward on it, I will probably update you all uh, through the various other podcasts and certainly in a part, part three to this. Um, so yeah, we, I've got a questionnaire to do for the website. Um, I, I want to then send that to Sean to review. And then it's simply a case of um, getting that designed. I think one of the uh, important things I want to mention at this point is trying, if you're in a position where you have got 
capital to invest. Um, I really do think that it makes more sense to outsource some of these things to people that will, are very good at it and that do it, you know, for a living. Um, you know, me creating a website versus what Greg and his team can do just pales in comparison. Um, and I know that what he what he will build, what him and his team will build, will be will give us a huge return on investment. Uh, and so I think where possible it is important to be able to outsource some of these things and. Um, yeah, so just something I wanted to raise. Uh, and then really it's about making sure that, you know, Sean and I have an agreement that's win-win in terms of a, a contracted agreement between the two of us, how we're compensated, things like that, which is obviously hugely important. And that's a big project I'm focused on right now. Um, another thing I've been doing is working on the market research. So I've been looking at really the top 20 personal training businesses in Galway, looking at how they position themselves and their branding, their web design, their service portfolio, and trying to understand how we can be different. And to be quite honest with you, I wasn't very impressed with the competition uh, in Galway. I, I really do feel like most people don't have a great idea and aren't very clear on what they... Um, what their value proposition is and what makes them different, um, and so I think that that's something that we're going to be is going to really set us set us apart from the competition because I want to make sure we're incredibly clear on our value proposition and what makes us different to other uh, fitness options out there for people. Um, and then next is really just defining the roles that Sean and I will have. Um, one thing that's really good about um, really, one of the reasons why I'm really pleased about working with Sean is, firstly, we have a great relationship. We're good friends. Um, you know, he's very high integrity. I, I trust him completely. Um, and he's got a lot of experience as an entrepreneur. And, you know, we complement each other really well because, you know, I've got experience building online businesses. And obviously, I, I've learned a ton interviewing people on the podcast about a high intensity training business. So I feel like I have a lot of expertise to bring to the, to the table. But at the same time, Sean is a very experienced entrepreneur who really understands his numbers um, and just has a great entrepreneurial mind. And so when we when we flesh out these topics and decide how we're going to move forward on certain bits of the business, we have a really constructive conversation. Um, and we've been actually meeting uh, fairly regularly, uh, sometimes as early as 7 a.m. in the morning when the brain is fully charged um, to really thrash out some of these topics and come to a decision on certain things. You know, minor things like what, well, the, sorry, the business name isn't minor, obviously, but some of the things we've been talking to at length have been like, shall we have a shower in the studio? Shall we have changing rooms? Things like that, which has been quite, quite uh, interesting and enjoyable. And, uh, and yeah, so he's been, he's probably far stronger than me at things regarding cash flow and finance, um, specifically. And so that's been a really interesting learning for me and, and why I think we're a, a good partnership because I think we complement each other very well. Um, so as many of you know, I have the, the high intensity, the hit, the hit business membership, um, where we provide, blueprints, content, monthly Q&As, and a community of hit entrepreneurs to help you build a successful high-intensity training business. And this is one of the most exciting things for me. One of the conditions for really going into business with someone um, to build a studio business is that I had to be able to share um, as much as possible with you guys, with the podcast and also in the membership. Uh, and hence why I'm going to be doing that through podcasts and, and primarily through this series, updating you with how things are going and what's working and what's not working. But what I'm going to be doing more so is actually sharing, or sorry, more so, but in addition to that, is sharing standard operating procedures and checklists inside the Hit Business Membership. So if you do decide to become a member, you will get access to all of the SOPs that I start building for our business. Now, I will probably make them more generic because if they're just aligned with our values and they're probably not going to make sense. So there'll be a more generic template that you can use in your own business. So for example, you know, I've already created SOPs on how do you come up with your business name, which was also complemented by Luke, who did a short podcast with me on how he thinks about this. So that has become a very good resource if you're 
either just getting started and can't think of a name or whether you're uh, due a rebrand and maybe your goals have changed and you're looking to re rename your business or rebrand it. Uh, another checklist was on how to find the perfect studio location. Um, another checklist was on how to think about your differentiators in your business. You know, um, Luke is quite popular for talking about the free uniques. These are unique features about your business that differentiate you from your competition. And it's a very important distinction. They do not differentiate you because you are better at those things, but that you are the only person in your in your market who who is who who provides all three of those features in their service. Um, so for instance, if you were to say, oh, what makes you different? Oh, well, we provide great customer service or we provide great personal training. It's really hard to prove that and your competitors probably would not agree with you. Whereas being different is easier to prove and, and it's, a, it's a fair more honest, far more honest statement. So for example, Discover Strength have a well-known for having uh, their three uniques are efficiency. So the training being brief, infrequent, intense, uh, and also efficiency in terms of the exercises they choose to get out the musculature in the most efficient way possible. Um, they're evidence-based that everything they do is always based on the latest science. And what the evidence shows is most um, effective for the customer. And then lastly, they are uh, they have educated expert trainers. So all of their trainers have to have a minimum of uh a degree, I believe, in exercise physiology um, or kinesiology, and then also probably certifications on top of that. So you have to have a minimum level of education. Um, and by having those three things, that really differentiates Discover Strength from their competition. So similarly, we are going to be using the differentiators efficiency and evidence-based probably. And then I think the third and final one is high intensity strength training, which just hit me one day. I was like, it's so obvious. It's staring me right in the face, but we will be the only business in, in Ireland, let alone Galway, um, who will be who will be providing solely high intensity strength training services. And so I think that's obviously, again, another differentiator um, that may appeal to our target market. Um, another thing I want to say in regard to what has been helpful from the membership, and obviously since starting the studio or at least preparing it and planning it out, I've been heavily involved in the membership and leaning on uh, the resources in there that have been provided by some very generous people in high intensity training, people like Luke Carson and Skylar Tanner and Paddy Durrell and many, many more. Um, and, you know, utilizing those resources and actually implementing them in the business. Um, and there's going to be so much more cool things I can report on that, especially when we start executing on marketing tactics and uh, operations and personal training practices and things like that. Uh, but one of the things that's been really useful lately is um, that Skylar and... Um, Skylar and Owen Dockham have been really generous in helping with providing waivers, health history questionnaires, and service policy templates. So thanks, guys, if you're listening to this. And uh, that's been really helpful to us in terms of helping us create our own um, resources for that. So using yours as just a rough template was really helpful. Uh, and then just it's been helpful in terms of... Um, you know, posting messages in the community and uh, asking questions about showers and, you know, are stairs going to be a problem? Like if we have stairs leading up to the studio, is that going to, you know, de deter people from wanting to come into the studio who can't get up the stairs? Um, so I'm going to be using the community a lot going forward. And I think it would be very valuable to you if you are either thinking about starting a high intensity training business or you have an existing business and you're trying to get over that 500K or $1 million revenue mark uh, or beyond, uh, then I think you'll find being a member incredibly valuable and useful in helping you achieve that. Um, and so if you're interested in that, please go to highintensitybusiness.com forward slash membership. And that's really the end of this, guys. I just wanted to give you an update on, I guess, you know, what's happening with regard to the business. Um, those are the things I've really been focused on in terms of getting everything ready for January 2020. There's a lot going on. I've got a baby due 
end of November. Um, I've still, you know, got a lot going on with the podcast and the membership. I'm still really passionate about providing as much value via both platforms as possible. And so 2020 is going to be a big year. Um, and so watch this space and I'll keep you posted through the show. But thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate all your support. Um, to find a blog post for this episode, please go to highintensitybusiness.com and search for episode 247. And until next time, thank you very much for listening. This episode is brought to you by the Resistance Exercise Conference. Would you like to learn from the top strength training professionals and researchers, network and connect with other exercise professionals from all over the world, and get inspired, rejuvenated, and focused on your strength training business? I certainly do, and that is why this will be my third appearance at REC. It's my favorite weekend of the year, and I'm so excited to attend again in March 2020. So why else should you attend REC? Well, firstly, there will be keynote presentations from exercise icons like Dr. Bente Klarlin Peterson, Stuart Phillips, PhD, James Fisher, PhD, and Luke Carlson. As a studio owner, you will learn business tactics and strategies on how to grow your business from the CEO of Discover Strength, the highest revenue producing strength training company in the nation. Moreover, you will grow your network by connecting with other strength training business owners from around the world. As a personal trainer, REC will provide you with tangible training techniques to take back to your clients to implement right away for better results. And REC is approved by ACSM, NASM, ACE, and NSCA for continuing education credits. The conference will be held on the 27th and 28th of March 2020 at the gorgeous Graduate Hotel in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Join me and register now over at resistanceexerciseconference.com. If you want to take your strength training business to the next level and build a world-class personal training and business network, you must attend. Please register now over at resistanceexerciseconference.com. Discover how to achieve your health and fitness goals, become a great personal trainer, and build a successful high-intensity training business. Check out highintensitybusiness.com. Highintensitybusiness.com. This episode is brought to you by ARX, the most innovative, efficient, and effective all-in-one exercise machines I have ever seen. I was really impressed with my ARX workout. The intensity and adaptive resistance was unlike anything I've ever experienced. I love how the machine enables you to increase the negative load to fatigue target muscles more quickly. And I love how the workouts are effortlessly quantified. The software tracks maximum force output, rate of work, total amount of work done and more in front of you on screen, allowing you to compete with your previous performance to give you and your clients real-time motivation. The ARX uses a computer-controlled motor to give you the exact amount of resistance your clients need 100% of the time. This means that the resistance can never become dangerous, is intuitive and simple to use, and can provide you with all of the results you and your clients are looking for in a fraction of the time. ARX is highly effective and efficient in delivering all of the benefits of exercise, including increased strength, muscle mass, cardiovascular conditioning, bone mineral density, and injury recovery. As well as being utilized by many high-intensity trainers to deliver highly effective and efficient workouts to their clients, ARX comes highly recommended by world-class trainers and brands, including Bulletproof, Tony Robbins, and Ben Greenfield Fitness. To find out more about ARX and get $500 off install when you place an order, please go to arxfit.com and mention HIB, that's High Intensity Business, in the How Did You Hear About Us field. So again, to get $500 off install when you place an order, head on over to arxfit.com and enter HIB in the How Did You Hear About Us field.